Welcome back to another video. Folks, today we are continuing with Red Dead Redemption story. Red Dead 2 story. So, let's have some fun. Grab your snacks, grab your drink, grab your blankets, and let's get ready to have some fun. That's what been said. Sir.
partner. Remember putting the welcome sign up, so get lost. Go on and get lost. You better leave or I'll move you. Richard Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money.
You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Come on, this ain't right. You got the map. Do the decent thing. Aren't you gonna untie me? coming. All right, let's go. Look out, mister. of the whole I'm in. Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing. Except a lessening damn mercy. Son of a bitch. Alone, 
won't you? You've got the debt! Law, hear about this! I didn't steal that, it's a debt! Oh, damn it! Can a man have some peace?
you hassling me? I am ready to get this over with. You're getting robbed. Nice and easy now. Just hold on there, boy. Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Right there. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. 
Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. By marriage. Aye, aye. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Ah. Look out, Arthur. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but... You know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So, what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type, by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about... Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Come on, get up! That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, and I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. Why, well, you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Oh, we are not doing it the daytime show. So you can... Just wait. Yeah, okay. Just, uh, Let's get on with this, Mr. Morgan. Yes. <clears throat> Let me head up there and make a fool of myself. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> Just don't get caught. Because it's me, they'll shoot first. Aye, aye. Wait until...
until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Your father home, son. Sure is. Get him down here. Please get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, 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 Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. Tim oh, oh, wait. Pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. Uh, my name, my name is, now don't tell no one, because they know what I'm trying to think. I got something better, way better than jerks. If I could use it, free! Final alignment. What? Final alignment. Your Lord God Almighty. Oh, whomever built us. But our brains in here, but our souls is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky. Sure. I can fix that for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine. Sir. Whiskey? It's whiskey is this cousin the problem. Don't get that old man. You ever meet a Scotsman who's novel in old age? An English and cold, sir. Gin? They drink gin. And what is gin made with? Junipers. And what does the juniper do? Creates movement. better just a bit yeah yeah a little bit better this session has been free but perhaps i might call again how much will it cost me? i'm offering you virility and you're asking me about money sir i ain't made of money mr my rates are reasonable have a think about it
Wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. What are we doing off the road? Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're gonna stick around here for? So, here's something strange. Seamus was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and uh, such like. Good luck charms. What, like a rabbit's foot? I suppose, but he was claiming they really do work. Don't they all? Uh, oh okay, here we are. What's Just pull the on? coach into the barn there. <laughs> Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Tempting, mister, but 
Not today. Desgraciado!
many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Anyone been in the black water see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. <sighs> Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. Javier, Josiah, come on. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over the city. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. <laughs> Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Get your binoculars up. Let's see what we're doing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. 
Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. If we can, leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Wait. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Mary, Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't! I can't! God damn it, Arthur! Ah. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. Come on! We need to get past these sons of bitches! A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. What are you waiting for? Shoot! I lose everything! Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit! God damn it, Arthur! <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lean bro, those boots you got there, eh? Mm. Oh, they're very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? <laughs> Is he alive still? Mm. Come hey, on, focus. Oh. Focus, okay.
Watch out for these two! The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Let's take these hijo putas. Goddamn army of the bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Maybe we should put him in ourselves. Still. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Aye, aye. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got oh, stories yeah. for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now.
I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. You know, you can't have that Relax. Like <laughs> I'm back home yeah. now. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head. Like <laughs> and don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the oh, finest old oh, game in the Are you pot. seem in a good mood? Dead I am, son. <laughs> I am. Let's I have some fun nothing, tonight. Let's we enjoy ourselves. Like Are we having a party? Uh, Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Have fun. Mr. McGuire <laughs> So come on! Let's have ourselves a party! Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur! Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you fine folks? <laughs> I suppose. You're looking Hi, lovely Sean. as ever. Come on, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine Stay riding there. with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This is stupid. Something a little more civilized. And that's the most ah, it's good to be back. Miss O'Shea, dance with me. Of course, 
Nice touch. Where those, Uncle? I, I, I didn't think we was going to see you again. <laughs> Look at me, with the bell of the ball.
Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. One night when I was thrifty, some tears told me Dutchie's dog's body! Ah. I told you he'd show! All right, boys, let's introduce ourselves. Ah. You're not... What the hell are you doing?
Did we make it clear you ain't welcome here, damn it? What the hell's wrong with you? I'll, I'll empty this entire chamber in your head. Okay, tough like guy, relax. Joking like that's gonna get you killed. Hand over your money, <laughs> mister. That's it. <laughs> uh. Gonna be dead uh. soon, partner. Oh All right. Another murder. All right, stay calm. It's in good hands now. Oh, this ain't coming. You should stop. Hey, blow it. in me. gonna help a fella out. Somebody, please. I got real bad nerves. Look out! away. Long time, boy.
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Yeah, Hello, Arthur. Mary? Uh, I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. Listen, Arthur, I, I'm, uh, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined... The Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. No. No. Will you help me? No. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. Uh -huh. You already owe me. Gonna owe me a whole lot of money. I don't care what you can do for me. I want my money. Let's go, boy. Drink, and then go see your wife. 